Vincent Cheng. Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grandmaster class and I am Peter Simon with you. Today we are conducting a listening lecture. Part A, extract one of the audio Vincent Schoeng. So see the question, six questions, one to six questions. How to get 12 out of 12 in this particular part? How to score 12 out of 12 is the point of question. How to get 12 out of 12? That's what we have to see here. So you hear a neurologist.
talking to a patient. The name of the patient is Vincent Shank. There are 12 questions, questions 1 to 12, and you have to complete the notes with a word or short phrase. Now you have 30 seconds to look at the notes. This is pre-listening time. This is pre-listening time. Yeah. So go through these six questions because I'm going to tell you something which is very, very important. Dr. Wasiuddin, Wasi, then Josephine Mary, Kiran, Manjula, Muthu, Tajinder, Tajinder Kao, yeah. Yes. Please do not share this link with others. This is only for the regular students. Now, Go through these questions, please. Hello. Yeah, I'm teaching some but, uh, vocabulary. Um, how to get vocabulary from the text for OET? Do you want to join? Please come and send me the link. So, how to brainstorm? Because we don't know anything, but we don't know many things. We don't know what is there in the audio, but we know many things what are already there in our brains. So that area we are going to 
focus on today. Yeah, it's very, very important. Fine. Now here, the first question is here. The first question is here. Now before listening to the audio, this time is very, very important because you have three different things, pre-listening, while listening, and post listening, pre listening, while listening, and post listening. Now, what do you mean by this pre listening, while listening, and post listening? There are three stages it's pre reading, while reading, post reading. Same with writing and speaking. So how are we going to identify these things? This is very, very essential. Right. Now, now you see, this is a wall. And the, this before, so this is Simon's house and this is Peter's house. And this is a compound wall. Like that, your work and your result is related to this work, this listening time. Before listening, how well you are working is very important to score how many marks you are going to get. So pre-listening, while listening, post-listening. So pre-listening, what you have to do is you have to brainstorm. Many people don't know actually what you have to do when that 30 seconds of time is available to you. Many people don't recognize. They don't even realize. In fact, they will be looking to the left. They will be looking to the right. They will look forward, they would look behind, and they will see everywhere possible. But they do not know what they have to do. Why they are not starting the audio? That is what they think. But here, you can separate this time into three parts. Pre-listening, while listening, post-listening. Pre-listening, you will brainstorm. You will brainstorm. What, I, what am I going to listen? What am I expecting here? What part of speech? Is it a noun? Or is it an adjective? Or is it a verb? What exactly? Am I going to grab one word? or two words, or three words? Or am I going to get a word or a number? What am I going to listen for? What am I going to catch? What is it that is important here? What for have I to look? If your attitude is like this, then definitely you'll get 12 out of 12 in this test. 12 out of 12 in this test, definitely you will get. Then if it is a noun, is it a singular number? or a plural number? Is it a singular number or a plural number? Is it branch or branches? Is it study or studies? 
is it boy or boys so am i going to listen to a number or a date or a month or a year so what am i going to listen for am i expecting anything or am i blindly listening to the audio what am i expecting for how i simply to wait for the audio and once the audio comes i have to do or before the audio starts playing before the beep sounds what should i do if every aspirant of the oet thinks in this style definitely he'll get 12 out of 12 getting 24 out of 24 in part a is a dead easy if and only if this behavioral transformation takes place we have to change our attitude from waiting for the audio to mentally preparing ourselves waiting for the audio anybody can do but mentally preparing for the audio very few can do it's not an ordinary thing you have to be very strong willed to stay away from distractions yeah now how are you going to do here number 1 you can write down what you are expecting here noun adjective or verb number 1 am i waiting for a noun or a verb uh, adject an adjective or a verb noun adjective or verb this is number 1 somebody write the notes please yes serious students can write the notes this is not a joke very important session please make some notes and after send them to me yes right is it a noun or a verb or an adjective why i should wait for anybody yeah so what am i expecting what am i expecting number 1 part you are expecting the parts of speech you are expecting the parts of speech what part of speech am i expecting mostly there are three parts of speech a the noun b the adjectives and see the words so you are it may be an adjective or it may be an an uh, a verb right this is the first one what you are going to expect number 2 now you are if you want to expect these things you need to identify some important things number 2 identify the identify the keywords identify the keywords now what are the keywords you can identify here you can do the skimming part skimming you can do the skimming now what you have to do skimming big big words are there what are they just identify and underline then only you can know 
okay what you are going to expect right now we are going to the question now here is the question no need to bother about anything else pain described as initial symptoms pain described as pain described as now if you see very clearly here pain described as a table nonsense pain described as a book meaningless pain described as a house pain described as so now here this is meaningless so noun will not come then verb pain described as played pain described as eat pain described as sing no it doesn't make sense pain described as good pain described as bad described description you describe something you use adjectives to describe you use adjectives to describe so adjectives to describe the girl described as clever the man described as tall description describing things these adjectives are different types okay. describing quality describing a quality okay pain described as description you are describing the qualities he is good he is clever he is talented he is handsome she is beautiful she is good looking she is tall she is pretty adjectives adjectives so here adjectives of description there are three types of degrees positive degree comparative degree superlative degree positive degree pain described as okay so good bad if bad is adjective and it's a positive degree worse comparative degree worst superlative degree okay mild pain is described as mild milder mildest so when you compare you use milder when you say this is the topmost then you use mildest kashmir is described as beautiful kashmir is compared as more beautiful than uti comparative kashmir is described as more beautiful than uti comparative degree kashmir is described as the most beautiful place on earth superlative so adjective may be in positive degree or comparative degree or superlative degree if you know these things it will be easy for you here more than is not given in the world is not given if in the world is there 
then the most beautiful. If it is then, some other place is there, then you can say comparative degree. Nothing is there, then positive degree. That's it. Right? So, when to use positive degree, when to use comparative degree, when? So, you are ready for that. Now, here, superlative degree will not come because pain is described as the mildest will not come because the mildest among all the problems or difficulties. Some other things should come. All other things should come. All the other. All the other. She is more beautiful than all the other girls in the class. All the other girls or any other girl in the class. So try to understand here when to use comparative degree and now when to use superlative degree. She is the most beautiful girl in the entire class. So superlative degree will come. She is described as beautiful. That's it. So positive degree will come. In the same way, positive degree will come here. Positive degree. First form of the adjective. Mild, milder, mildest. Good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. Tall, taller, tallest. Try to understand this. Clever, cleverer, cleverest. Moderate, more moderate, most moderate. So, first form will come. Now, brainstorming. Question number one. Question. Question one. Yes, now guess. Pain, pain. Described, yeah, pain described, facial pain started three months ago. Facial pain started three months ago. Okay. Next, pain described as, in the middle of the sentence, you will not write capital letter, HIFSA. Write again. No capital letter in the middle of the sentence. You want to see here? Okay. Let us go again. Pain described as a dash. No capital letter in the middle. See, even the first letter also. These, these are bullet points. These are bullet points. So no capital letters. Okay. Have so again, you are written mild. Mild again, capital letter you have written. Small letter, please. Small letters. Yeah. Write down all the words which you think. Pain described as. All the letters you can write. These questions same everywhere you will get. So learn them now. Everywhere they will be useful. Manjula, excruciating. Josephine, moderate. Hevza, mild, mild. Can you rewrite with a small letter M? And intense also. Can you rewrite small letter? Yeah. Question after question, we are going. I don't want you to miss 12 marks. All the marks you should get. Severe, very good. Any other words? Dull, very good. Sajida. I don't want to see any capital letter. Make it a habit, make it a rule. Dull, very good. Yeah. Come on, what else? Learn the spelling of excruciating, all of you. Make notes of all these words. Yeah, whatever, whatever other words you can see. Paid can be described as. Okay, tingling, very good. Tingling, very good. Severe, very good. Uh, Kiran, Kiran Kaur from Delhi, nurse. I want you to write all these words. Okay, burning, very good. And afterwards, send me for question number one. What are the all the words related to pain? Okay. Right. Burning. Very good. Mild. Very good. 
What are the other words? Shooting. Very good, Rabil. We are going to increase the quality of our sessions. So shooting, very good. What are the other words we can use for pain? Okay, let me help you. So I'll just uh, take uh, one artificial intelligence which is working very fast these days. That is called chat GPT. Okay. So, so it is going to help us. Let us learn using this chat GPT. Okay. So, fine. It will give all the words. Why we should uh, struggle? Okay. Right? Why we should struggle? So, because it will help us to learn all the words, okay? Um, the words, the English words to describe pain, describe pain. The English words, what are the English words? What are the English words to describe a pain? It will give us. Come on, write down, write down, write down all these words. So write down all these words, please. And in, uh, yeah, one of these words is our answer. Because chart GPT will cover all the words as far as possible. I'm giving you a technique, how to learn, okay? 20 words we got here, 20 words. There are more words. Yeah, I given you here. Okay. So, now radiating, cramping, sore, tingling, stinging, burning, stabbing, throbbing, ache, cramping, shooting, radiating, dull, nagging, throbbing, searing, aching, tender, piercing, gnawing, raw, agonizing. One of these words is our answer. You are not going to miss. Yeah. If I tell you, you will write two, three words and afterwards gone. All these words, most of them you know. Most of them you know. But only they are back of the brain, not front. Yeah. Next.
नेक्स्ट नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मेनली अफेक्ट राइट साइड ऑफ द फेस दिस इज लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द फेस दिस इज राइट साइड ऑफ द फेस राइट साइड ऑफ द फेस इन ब्रैकेट दैट मीन्स फेस पार्ट चीक चीक टीथ एंड इन साइड वॉट इज देयर वॉट आर द पार्ट ऑफ द फेस वॉट आर द पार्ट सेम क्वेश्चन विल आस्क जीपीटी अगेन ओके वॉट आर द बॉडी पार्ट टू द राइट साइड ऑफ द फेस ओके इन द राइट साइड ऑफ द फेस राइट what are the parts in the right side of the face let us take body parts okay next question what are the body parts what are the parts of the face in the right side in the right side what are the parts if you take two halves right side left side okay so forehead eyebrow eye nose cheek mouth jaw chin ear temple these are some words and apart from these there are some other words okay and there are some other words for example gums buccal cavity okay tongue many other parts you have to be ready for that also okay so what um are the labels of parts of the mouth so gums have come tongue has come soft palate has come hard palate has come teeth incisors canines premolars molars salivary glands ovula tonsils epiglottis pharynx esophagus okay all these are there anything of this might be the answer so if you see now cheek cheek teeth and holding the teeth there are gums maybe gums maybe gums the next question you see compares the sensation to dash compares the sensation where will you get the sensation will you get the sensation to the teeth or to the skin or to the cheek or to the gums where will you get sensation that body part may be that body part may be okay this pain is experienced by sensitive part so that may be sensitive part okay now cheek teeth and dash compares the sensation to dash compares the sensation to dash with what okay what is the sensation as sensation to what is this sensation is compared to what so what can you guess here so here the here you will get a noun check cheek teeth and it something noun teeth is plural cheeks plural one side na so gums maybe plural 
okay nerves maybe blood vessels maybe anything may be coming there we don't know and compares the sensation to dash compares the sensation to something comparing to something noun okay right second guess question number 2 now we are going to question 2 come and write the answer for question number 2 guess and write please no capital letters please puja small letter and rabil tanga you have written capital letter small letter please yeah john okay john's may be both upper and lower gums you want to get 12 out of 12 don't miss the show yes next one question number 3 now here compares to something sensation to what a thorn pricking maybe a thorn pricking a needle piercing a piercing needle okay or a bruise a cut okay pain from the bruise what exactly it is come on guess which compares the sensation to what think about what you can guess here yeah all of you at the end of the session you must get 12 out of 12 that is my target 12 out of 12 and every test you should get 12 out of 12 there is no excuse yes so compares the sensation to dash okay um next one now let us go to question number 4 question number 4 washing face washing face fingers washing face brushing teeth washing face action and a noun washing the face brushing the teeth and what and what and what maybe combing hair ing is there very important ing ing okay rubbing the nose maybe taking food yeah very good very good come on come on you started thinking washing face ing verb plus ing plus noun brush ing teeth verb plus ing noun and a dash plus ing plus noun eating food drinking water maybe drinking water maybe i think drinking water also maybe Are we drinking water maybe eating food maybe swallowing food okay chewing meat okay chewing meat maybe anything maybe in the form maybe may not be 
shaving the face maybe yeah only shaving also comes very good you started thinking i want i will see how many 12 out of 12 will be there today okay question number 5 Question number five. Anything, anything touching the face, including dash. You are cleaning eyes. Very good, Anita. So anything touching the face, including what? Yeah, air. Very good, Kiran. Wind. Puja. Correct. Puja, small letter W. Please focus because in the examination, if you write like this, you lose your mark. Anita, air, very good. Can you write again with a small letter? A breeze, Anita. Spelling mistake. Breeze. Z e b r double e z e water. Yeah, very good. Wind, very good. Thank you, Puja, for listening. So. You have to make me happy by getting twelve out of twelve today. <coughs> yeah. Next, what else? Maybe bedding, bedding, b e d d i n g bedding. Maybe clothes, clothes. Yeah. Maybe dress. Towel, yeah, towel, very good. There are students who got forty out of forty in IELTS. Okay, nine out nine bands. There are my students who got nine bands. There are students who got four hundred and seventeen and eighty in uh, listening. Yeah, there are students who got. You see in my website. Yes, that is question number five. Next question number six. Spontaneous. So eating and drinking. Okay, those are also to guess. Eating and drinking already here, so those may not come in question number five. Sorry, four. Eating and drinking are already here, so it may not come in question number four. That's it. See, spontaneous. spontaneous means suddenly you do something or lengthy prolonged spontaneous or lengthy maybe actions adjective is there spontaneous action lengthy action so noun should come spontaneous or lengthy what think about that Yes, very good, Rabil. Spontaneous smile or lengthy smile or laughter. Laughter. L a u g h t e r. Suddenly they laugh. Some jokes come. Suddenly they laugh. Noun will come. Smiling is verb. Puja. Smiling is verb. Noun should come here. Noun. It's okay. No need to say sorry. We are learning, ne? We are learning. Spontaneous or lengthy dash. Laughter. Laugh is a verb. Laughter. L a u g h t e r. Somebody type. Laughter. Yeah. Again, capital letter, small letter, please. laughter mistake happens because computer na if you are uh, anita laughter very good thank you next one uh, spontaneous or lengthy chewing chewing is spontaneous okay maybe right so these are the six questions we have seen very good Now seven to twelve. Seven to twelve. 
So let us go to question seven. Yeah, yawning. Very good. Anita, small letter. Yawning. In the middle of the sentence, you will never use capital letter. Remember that. Make it a habit. Mistakes happen, but you have to cover it. Yeah. Spontaneous yawning. Very good. Or lengthy yawning. Very good. It's correct. Next one. Question number seven. Development of the condition. Attacks becoming more frequent. Whole face now affected. Attacks now last longer. Describes current level of pain as. Okay. Describes current level of pain as. Question number seven. Describes current level of pain as. It should be the worst. When you write worst, it must be the worst. Severe. Very good. Uh. Intense. Intense. Unbearable. Unbearable. Yes, stabbing. That's correct. Next, what else? Throbbing. Yeah. Pricking. Okay. Next one. Question number eight. Initially prescribed as something, name will come. Name will come. What type of medication? Initially prescribed what? NSA IDs should be in capital, Rabil. Okay, because they are abbreviations. Ibuprofen, small letter. Okay. Initially prescribed paracetamol, NSAIDs, or um, what else? Cream, lotion, powder, gel, ointment. Anti-inflammatory. Okay. What else you can write? Write down, no? I'm telling so many words. Powder. Cream. Ointment. Face pack. Gel. Lotion. Gel, G E L, gel. Yeah, initially prescribed something. Next one. Question nine. Question nine. Question nine. Now on antispasmodic medication. Also taking supplements, vitamin D and vitamin D and small letters, uh, Salimat, no capital letter. Calcium, vitamin D and Vitamin C, multivitamins, minerals, fluids. What else you can write? Think. What are the other supplements? Imagine. Yeah. 
next question number 10 answers are in your brain not in the audio answers are in the brain not in the audio answers are already there in your brain from that you have to listen what he is telling and take it out next one is question number 10 feels constantly feels constantly Lethargic, okay, right. Rabil is following capital and small letters, very good. Feels constantly drowsy, tired, fatigued. D should come. Constantly, D should come. Drowsy, adjective, no? fatigue is noun for fatigued. Boring, very good, Vasi. Vasi is the new doctor. Uh, dizzy, very good. Tired, boring. Irritated, maybe. Upset, maybe. Write down. Irritated, upset. What are the different words of feeling? Feelings, restless. Constantly restless. Noun will not come, Anita. Restless. Uh, Puja, upset is correct, but irritated. D, write again. Irritated. Anita, write again, restless. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you for correcting your words. Because you are correcting yourself. Then next step. Uh, feels constantly anxious, maybe feeling, anxious feeling. Tensed, tensed, T-E-N-S-E-D, tensed, okay, worried, worried, maybe, so what are the other feelings, okay, next one, question number, disturbed, yeah, Kiran, D, small letter, again, type, write again, question number, 11. Easily becomes a dash. Cause of embarrassment. Easily becomes. Easily becomes dash. Angry. Sleepy. Hmm. What else? Easily becomes upset. Easily becomes upset. Yeah. Easily becomes irritated. Easily becomes tired. Very good. People are correcting the answers. Very good. Easily becomes confused. Very good, Anita. Easily becomes confused. That's why embarrassment maybe. Easily becomes restless, Kiran. Not restlessness. Easily becomes restless. Okay. Noun will not come. Work. Verb is already there, no? Um, restless. Yeah, slowly, slowly we we'll learn. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Then. Question. Twelve. Question twelve. Question 12. Notices uncharacteristic. Notices uncharacteristic. Behavior maybe.
uncharacteristic what after medication he became some of his act, uncharacteristic actions maybe notice uncharacteristic nature may be very good anita so one think uncharacteristic attitude may be reactions may be actions may be attitude may be behavior may be personality may be working style may be anything may be come on think about all these things whatever you want so many students are there you can definitely yeah Yeah. So, weight loss, weight loss, two words, not one word. Okay. Now, this is called, this is what you have to do in the first 30 seconds. This is what you have to do in the first 30 seconds. Yeah. Now, how was the brainstorming session? How was the brainstorming session? Okay, how was the brainstorming session? So, beneficial or not? Uh, zero to hundred percent beneficial. Zero to hundred percent beneficial. You have to tell which is the right one. Zero to hundred percent beneficial. I'm asking you about beneficial. Okay, zero percent beneficial. Zero is not beneficial. 100% means 100% beneficial. So just give your point 0 to 100%. What is your rating for this one, for this work, which you have done? I did not do anything. You only have done all these things. Yes, 10 seconds I'm giving you. After that, we are going to start the test. Okay, I'm going to play the audio now.
get ready take your notebook and write 12 numbers 1 to 12 is to look into a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with the information you hear. Now look at the notes for extract 1. Extract 1, questions 1 to 12. If you're a neurologist, talking to a patient, good things in tune. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Now, Vincent, I've got your referral notes from the GP, but I wonder if you could tell me in your own words how this all started and what treatment you've had, how that's gone, and uh, anything else you think I should know. Thank you, Dotsie. Yes, well, it all started about three months ago. Uh, I was just washing one morning, and everything was completely normal, when suddenly I felt a pain go right across my face for, for no apparent reason. Then, after that, the attacks came quite often. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's like a searing pain, and it usually hits the right side of my face. Like I said, it goes right across it, but it's my cheek, teeth, and my jaw that seem to take the brunt of it. It's a horrible feeling, too. It feels like an electric shock. I have to say, it leaves me feeling quite shaken. And have you noticed any patterns or triggers? Is there anything that seems to bring this on? No, um, like I told you, the first time it happened, I was... Okay, not clear. Not clear. You'll have time to read the questions before you hear each extract, and you'll hear each extract once only. Complete your answers as you listen. At the end of the test, you'll have two minutes to check your answers. Part A. In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with the information you hear. Now look at the notes for extract 1. Extract 1, questions 1 to 12. You hear a neurologist talking to a patient called Vincent Chung. For questions 1 to 12, Complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes.
Now, Vincent, I thought you have a poem notes from your GP, but I wonder if you could tell me in your own words how this all started and what treatment you've had, how that's gone, and uh, anything else you think I should know. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, well, it all started about three months ago. Uh, I was just washing one morning and everything was completely normal when suddenly I felt a pain go right across my face for, for no apparent reason. Then, after that, the attacks came quite often. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's like a searing pain, and it usually hits the right side of my face. Like I said, it goes right across it, but it's my cheek, teeth, and my jaw that seem to take the brunt of it. It's a horrible feeling, too. It feels like an electric shock. I have to say, it leaves me feeling quite shaken. And have you noticed any patterns or triggers? Is there anything that seems to bring this on? Well, um, like I told you, the first time it happened, I was washing my face. But now I notice that brushing my teeth and shaving also bring it on. It seems to be anything to do with touching my face. I mean, even the wind can cause a sudden attack of pain. And also just using my face or mouth can bring one on too. So, I mean, like just eating and drinking can cause one or smiling at something suddenly, or for a long time. Basically, anything fun, pleasurable, or necessary seems to cause me horrendous pain. And do you think that the conditions developed or changed in any way since your first attack? Oh, they're definitely happening more often. And not only that, it feels like they're affecting my whole face. At the beginning, the attacks probably only lasted about, what, 30 seconds or so? But nowadays, I find myself dealing with the really painful part of the attack for a few minutes at a time. And it's actually getting severe now. I used to be able to cope with the pain by clenching my fist or talking myself through it or whatever, but I can't now. And I see here that your GP prescribed you some medication. Has that helped at all? Well, I expect you can see on my notes what I'm on. My doctor was reluctant to give me anticonvulsants at first because apparently there are one or two that can cause serious reactions. Yes. But he found one that carried a very low risk, so I was on that for a time. Um, anyway, after a while, they started to lose their effect, so then he put me on antispasmodics. That's what I'm on now. Uh, I don't know if it's relevant, but I also take supplements, uh, cod liver oil and vitamin D. Okay. How are the antispasmodics working out for you? Well, I have to admit that when I take them, the pain is a bit more bearable, but they do affect me in other ways. I mean, I'm, I'm drowsy all the time. I can hardly keep my eyes open. And just trying to follow a conversation or remember what it is I'm supposed to be doing has become a challenge. It really doesn't take much to make me confused. I mean, it's impressive. So, to avoid people thinking I've completely lost it or whatever, I've ended up staying at home a lot of the time. Yeah. Now, that's something I've never done. And I think it's that more than the pain which has led to some very strange mood swings. I mean, that's not really like me, Doctor. I see. Well, from what you've been saying, it sounds like we need to put you in for some tests and explore the possibility. Yeah. yeah, now let us check these things. Okay. Right. Okay, no problem. As far as possible, we'll see. I'll send you the link. You can go through that and tell me afterwards. Okay, I'll send you the link of the video. You can just check it out first part. Now let us see. Uh, number one. Okay, question one. Let us see how many of you answered. If many students get answered, that means 
we have to focus. Okay, question number one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. Yes. Right. The answer number one. Answer one is yeah. This is the answer. Okay, I understand. Because I tried to get the audio. I could not, so I have checked from YouTube video. Question two, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, submit. Yes, here is the answer. Yes, number two. Next question, number three. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one submit. Yes, this is the answer. An electric shock or electric shocks or just electric shock, all are correct. The one which is not in the bracket is there, that is enough. An electric shock or electric shocks, plural, or electric shock. Next question number four. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
submit. Yeah, many people have written many different spellings, but this is the correct spelling. Wrong spelling, you lose your mark. Then. Question number. Five, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. This is the answer. The wind, or wind, only wind also is right. Brackets means not compulsory. Question number six. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, submit. Answer. Question number seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit. Yeah, answer seven. Answer number seven. Yeah, this is the answer. Next question. Eight. Question number eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, submit.
yeah this is the answer an anti convergent or anti convergence then question number 9 सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज मेडिकेशन बाबा आंसर वेंट इवन बिफोर विटामिन डी you did not notice first he told the answer then he told vitamin d you should be ready na hmm many of you missed the answer maybe okay answer 9 So this is the answer. Cod liver oil and vitamin D. He told you heard vitamin D. Then you are waiting for cod liver oil. Okay. Then before he confused you, he already told the answer. Then he told vitamin D. You thought vitamin D will come first. Cod liver oil came first. Okay. You have to be very careful. Next question number ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit. question 10 yeah that is the answer next question number 11 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit. Question number eleven. Submit. Yeah. Question number eleven is that. Next question twelve. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit.
Yes. Yeah. Now update, upgrade your update your scores. Count. Update your scores. Please. Out of twelve. Give your valuable feedback about the session. Please, in one or two sentences. Give your valuable feedback about the session in one or two sentences. So, Kiran, 10 out of 12. Manjula, 6 out of 12. Yeah, audio is a little confusion, so that's why maybe because I have played from my mobile. And Salimat, 8. Sajida, 8. Wasi, 9. Josephine, 8. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll see part B. Yeah, all of you write your comments, please. So that's the end of the session for today. Today the highest scorer is Kiran. Very good, Kiran. Yeah. Okay, see you all. Yeah, I'll send you the link. Uh, all of you, I'll send you the link. You can take from there. What is this? Yeah.